Welcome back to this channel for practice problems for actuarial exams. My name is Krzysztof Ostaszewski. You can find information about me at smarturl.it forward slash Jedi. My advice on how to pass actuarial exams is at smarturl.it forward slash pass. This video channel is at smarturl.it forward slash pass actuarial exams. Here you can find information about online seminars and study manuals for exams PFM, IFM, and LTAM that I offer. I direct the actuarial program at Illinois State University. You can find information about it at smarturl.it forward slash actuary. If you would like to offer a tax-deductible donation to support our students, please go to smarturl.it forward slash help ISU actuary. Here's a problem for today, for exam P, on probability. An insurance company will cover losses incurred from tornadoes in a single calendar year. However, the insurer will only cover losses for a maximum of three separate tornadoes during this time frame. Uh, let X be the number of tornadoes that result uh, in at least 50 million of losses, and let Y be the total number of tornadoes. The joint um, probability function for x and y is uh, the form c times x plus 2y for x equal to 0, 1, 2, 3 and y equal to 0, 1, 2, 3 with x less than or equal to y where non-zero and it's zero otherwise where c is a constant. Calculate the expected number of tornadoes that result in fewer than 50 million in losses. Well given what these random variable x and y are the possible events are 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 2, 2, 2, 3, and 3, 3, because x is less than or equal to y. The probabilities of them, based on the formula we have, um, add up to, I should say add up to, my apologies, um, C times 0 plus 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 6 plus 8 plus 9. And that turns out to be 50C. Uh, this sum, of course, has to be 1, so C is 1 over 50. The number of tornadoes with fewer than 50 million in losses is Y minus X. The expected value of Y minus X is 1 over 50 times... Um, um, 0 times 0, plus uh, 1 times 2, plus 2 times 4, plus 3 times 6, plus 0 times 3, plus 1 times 5, plus 2 times 7, plus 0 times 6, plus 1 times 8, plus 0 times 9. And all of the um, first digits correspond to the value of y minus x, and the second digits correspond to the probability, which is that second digit divided by 50. And that's equal to 1.1, which is answer E. Please remember this is copyrighted material. The problem itself belongs to the Society of Actuaries. Uh, the solution is mine. Good luck in your studies and good luck on the test.